Oh, what's good, y'all? Welcome back. 41-17 Cincinnati Bengals win against Baltimore Ravens to prove the 5-2 one this season. And listen, I got to get some stuff off my chest before I get into this. Uh, first thing first, for the people who was expecting the Manchester United post game, uh, no. I did watch the game, but I wasn't at home to record it. I don't want to get into that, but I'll, I'll be out. You guys heard me, all the way out. But let's go and get into the the NFL game. 41-17. Also, for the people, all them NFL commentators, all the ESPN, Sunday Night Crew, whatever, talking about uh, Baltimore is going to do this against us. Everybody pick Baltimore against us. We came to Baltimore, bust their ass, baby. Cincinnati 41, Baltimore 17. Let's go ahead and get into the post game recap, because boy, I got a lot of stuff. I got a lot of stuff I have to say. A lot of stuff I have to say. Some good and some or some bad. But let's go and get into it. Uh, so starting off, <clears throat> I already knew Ravens would be blitzing the, the Ravens did blitz us a couple of times. I already knew they was going to do that, so I wasn't really too concerned about that. It did see some blitzes, especially early in the first couple possessions. It was targeting uh, Averitt, Averitt, I think that Averitt, yeah, Anthony Averitt. They was targeting him early, and I mean early. He, he was pretty good. He was pretty good, but we, we, we kind of did like him better against him. But the Bengals put up three points and drive, uh, 3-0. Burrow was he? Burrow was overthrowing his target. He did have T Higgins in the end zone towards like the fourth quarter, which he did overthrow T. But we still, I think we think we put up three. No, Burrow threw a pick. But I'll, I'll, I'll get to that pick. Burrow threw a catch. One thing about Joe, I do need criticize on. We'll need to target him about that. Um, Trey Hendrickson. Oh man, dude, the amount of times he was killing Vlad away from Pittsburgh, my man. He was holding him like, like he was a bag of gummy bears for, for Halloween. My man would not stop holding him. My man, Trey Hendrickson was getting held every single play, it seemed like, man. He was getting held every time. I'm like, my God. The refs, can you call it? Trey Hendrickson is getting held every time. I'm watching the game like, call it. Call it. He's getting held every time. What a game he had, and Sam Hubbard. I will get to those. Uh, Ravens come back, put up three. Secondary was good after, after the year. There were some times which we, did, which we did see Vaughn Bell and Jesse Bates have some like communication issues. It seemed like, but man, I was I was scared about I, I was scared about Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews did get open a couple of times. Actually, only three times, three for forty-eight. So I actually had hold him a check. Real very happy about that. That was my only concern was Mark Andrews. Uh, Ravens come back down, put up three. Um, I thought early, on, I thought early on the O line was struggling, especially against the Blitz. The O line was struggling early on against the Blitz, especially, especially Jonah Williams. I thought Jonah Williams didn't have his best game today, especially in the first half. But I felt like the O line got completely better second half. I think Joe only got sacked once. Yeah, he only, he only got sacked once, but I did feel like he got sacked a lot more. And I, I thought he was going to get sacked more, but nope. Um, what a, somebody's calling me. I, I can't answer that right now. What a play call by Bingos for Uzama. CJ Uzama, two touchdowns again today. Shout out to National Tight End Day. CJ Uzama, three catches for 91 yards. Absolutely amazing. What a play call that was for CJ Uzama to have first touchdown. I think he beat Marlon Humphrey as well. What a play. Shout out Riley Reed for that. Because he was like, I mean, because the rest of the, of, the, of the offensive lineman was like blocked in one way, faking the screen. It was one man block. That was Riley Reef on Joe's side. Very, very happy about that. But Baltimore comes back. Lamar Jackson started running. This game is running on. Joe, I mean, Lamar Jackson had, had a bag. 15 for 30 when he wasn't great today. He did miss a couple of passes I thought he was going to hit. Two, 257 yards. Sure, I picked, but he didn't. But I was scared about the rush thing. But I thought Lamar doing what, doing what Lamar does. Escape sacks. We, we we did sack Lamar five times, but it was it was tough sacks. It was tough sacks. I thought the D line was great the whole game. The amount of times it was getting back there, 
yeah, Lamar did manage to get the ball like a second right before he threw it, but I was so happy with the way the D-line was. Like I said, we'll get to some in- individual players and uh, defensive people in a minute. But you guys know Bengals did score before the half, which we always do. Chase big play. I think had across the middle, which led to a field goal. Um, 13-10. That's the first half. Like I said, it was a very, very close half. So I kind of knew at halftime, you know, it's going to be a very, very close game. But, boy, I was not expecting this. Second half, we almost had a fumble. I think Mark Andrews getting, like, triple, double, or a gang tackle. Akeem Davis Gallagher almost, he did, Akeem Davis Gallagher did rip the ball off. But he got it back. And then Lamar Jackson had a hell of a pass deep to Marquise Brown. He beats the Wuzi. And Cheeto did get beat, like, one or two times downfield. He just was overthrown or the ball wasn't that great. Uh, and like I said, I thought the safeties, especially Vaughn Bell, I, I didn't think the safeties weren't that great first half, but second half they got extremely better. Baltimore score a touchdown on Marquise Brown, 17-13. Bengals come back and score, which I said they need to do. I said the Bengals need to come back and score. Chase and C.J. Uzama. C.J. Uzama breaking tackle for a second touchdown of the day, 2017. Bengals get the ball back. Oh, my gosh, Jamar Chase. I don't think you guys know how much I love this man as a player. Eight catches, 201 yards as a rookie. Man's a rook. Man's a rook. Man's a rook. That's all I have to say. Man's a rook. Man is a rook. He's a rookie. That touchdown t- Jamar Chase had, which he he caught the ball and basically broke like a tackle and a spun move into open space. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Um, twenty-seven seventeen. We stop him again. Second half defense is absolutely phenomenal. Second half. I thought defense is absolutely phenomenal. Second half. Um, no, it's all job. I thought Chase did fumble in that catch, but he didn't. So that's really, really happy about that. And then, like I said, the T. Higgins pick. Joe overthrew T. Higgins a tad bit. Then he forced the boss. My only concern, this this is the only negative I will say about Joe, the turnovers, man. I think there's three games in a row he's thrown a pick. Four, four picks he's thrown in the last three games. And a lot of these picks, it's 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 it doesn't need to happen. You know what I mean? A lot of these picks doesn't need to happen. That's my only concern. I felt like he should just threw the ball away on that pick, but he, he just threw it to Jamar Chase. I'll make a play. Just throw it away, Joe. Please throw it away. Uh, defense playing great today. Like I said, the time blitzes as well. Very, very time blitzes. Uh, defense stopped the Ravens on fourth down. So the Ravens starting to go for a fourth down. I think we win the fourth quarter. Being able to come back, just run the ball. I said that point, run the ball. It wasn't that great run the ball, I will admit. It wasn't that great run the ball. It wasn't. Especially these little... I, I do want to see a bit more creativity, especially in the running game. You know, get more creativity in that. But perfectly fine with that. Uh, makes him punch it in for 34-17. And then Samaj P. Ron, 46-yard run for a touchdown. Samaj P. Ron up the gut, 41-17. And, man, we in the game winning 41-17. What an absolutely performance by the boys, man. Absolute performance by the boys. Uh. I got to give shout out to, to the D-line. DJ Reader, Larry Ogunjobi, Trey Hendrickson, and Sam Hubbard. I thought were absolutely phenomenal today, man. Going against Lamar Jackson, you know it's going to be hard to sack him. His ability to maneuver out of tackles and sacks and all that, it's amazing. I love Lamar Jackson. But, man, I wanted to beat him today. And especially if, if the last couple of times we, we have played Baltimore and how bad they've beaten us. How great was it today to win 41-17 against the Baltimore Ravens, man? Get our revenge. Uh, Joe, 416 yards. I think that's a career high, 416 yards. Joe Burrow. Man's a beast. Shout out to my man, CJ Uzama. T. Higgins. We, we, we was targeting T. Higgins early. We was targeting T. Higgins early, especially when he was going against Avery. Good battles. I thought Higgins wasn't that great first half, but he did get better, especially on those third down conversions in which Baltimore was sand blitzes. The big fatigue against to get open, catch the ball for first downs. Very happy with that. Also, Tyler Boyd. Very happy with Tyler Boyd. Very happy with Tyler Boyd. Uh, 
Who else am I missing? Logan Wilson shouts out to him. Sam Hubbard, two and a half sacks today, man. I've been very critical of uh, Sam Hubbard, especially guys, you know, the, the last week or two. I feel like he hasn't, he hasn't really been doing too much, but how happy. But I was happy with him last week against Detroit and this week against Baltimore. Very, very happy against that. We play the Jets next week. I expect that to be absolutely dope. Be 6-2. and two. Then got Cleveland. Then the bye week. But, man. Oh, my gosh, man. Uh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my God. I still can't believe it, guys. I still can't believe how great we played. Still, like, still can't believe how great we played, man. But um, overall, great win, great, great win. Uh, just keep it up. Uh, first place in the conference, first place in the division, five and two. But keep sleeping on us. We here, we here, we here, baby. We are here. Anyway. You guys don't get like a sub corner, but you got thoughts and reactions to the game, and I'll see you guys later. Who that?